Hey guys, my name is Jess, this is Adrian. We're down here at Onyx Gym, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Hammer Strength T-Bar Row. So with this exercise here, there's two different ways to load it up. You can either load it up on the front, or you can load it up on the back. So this one here, you wanna make sure that you've put it evenly on both sides, and then we're gonna get Adrian, his first movement, he's gonna hinge at his hips. So he's gonna push the hips back, and then you have a choice of two handles here, so if you're going to grab the inside handles, that's going to work more of your lats. And if you grab on the outside handles, you're going to be working more of your middle of your back and your rear delts. So I'm going to have Adrian here grabbing the outside handles. And he's going to row up towards his chest. And then bringing those elbows in a 45 degree angle as he's rowing up. And then really squeezing in that middle back. And the whole time through, you want to keep the lats engaged. So as you come down, you want to make sure not to fully extend. You don't want to round the back. So keeping the lats engaged and then pulling up and squeezing in right there in the middle of that back. So you want to make sure that as you're coming down, you don't want to fully extend your shoulders down. You want to make sure that you're retracting your shoulders, squeezing the lats. Otherwise, you're going to be putting pressure on your lower back and on your traps. So you want to make sure that you're squeezing in the lats, keeping them engaged, and then slowly bringing it down. And as you bring it down, you're still engaging your lats and keeping your shoulders retracted that whole time through. So now we have Adrian, he's using the inside handles. So with the inside handles, you're going to be using more of your lats and your biceps. So it's the same movement, you're going to be pulling it up, your elbows are going to be a little bit closer into your body with this one. And again, we don't want to be rounding the shoulders, so keeping the lats engaged the whole time through. And yes, you'll be using this one, focusing more on your lats and your biceps. So if you're adding this into your workout and you want this to be more focused on bodybuilding, I would suggest doing three to four sets and aiming for eight to 12 reps. If you want it more as a strength exercise, then we're gonna lower the reps down and we're gonna aim for three to six. You can go a little bit heavier weights, longer rest period, and you can do four to five sets with that one as well. So there's a few different variations of timing wise how you can do this exercise. So you can add a pause in at the top if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. So holding, so bringing it up, pause for two seconds and then slowly release. Uh, Another way you can do it, it's just a standard way, which is two seconds up, two seconds down, no pausing, just up and down. And our last way is a slow tempo. So you wanna be going two seconds up, and on the way down, that's when you wanna be going slow because that's where the muscles are building. So slow it down, three to four seconds on the way down. We are Onyx signing off. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.